Meantime, health industry leaders are gathering in Midtown Manhattan today at the Jeffries Global Life Sciences Conference, and they're meeting to discuss what the industry faces next and what it's going to mean for this country. My colleague Adam Johnson is at the conference, and he's standing by with former FDA Commissioner David Kessler. Adam? Thanks, Margaret. Uh, Dr. Kessler, we are so happy to have you here. You were the FDA uh, commissioner under Bush number one, and then of course under Clinton as well. You transcended politics. Talk to us, uh, compliance enforcement seems to be much more in the headlines and an issue. Look at what happened with Johnson Johnson last week. Why, what's going on behind the scenes? Increased corporate accountability. Why? Drugs are now being made all around the world. FDA can't be in every plant. It can't be on in every factory. So what FDA is saying I mean, to the leadership of the pharmaceutical and biotech industry is that you, you the corporate official, have to find problems and fix them before they occur. Heparin, uh, the, that uh, incident, 150 uh, deaths, very clear signals. The watchdog is back uh, and it has teeth. So, it, so it's really about safety. It I mean, that's, it's, the, the whole thing here is about safety. It is about uh, safety. I mean, a number of incidents, I mean, over the last several years, uh, Vioxx, uh, in some ways, opens people's eyes. You know, in the past, the kind of adverse events were relatively rare, liver toxicity, aplastic anemia. But the lesson from Vioxx is was, these were common events. And even if they, you know, only occurred maybe 20, 30 percent to increase, uh, FDA has to look for them. So that means larger trials, increased focus on safety. Now, one of the trends, of course, that, that we're seeing in healthcare is drugs that are more targeted to specific individuals uh, at the molecular level, genetic data. So in other words, you might be changing the recipe on drugs. How does the FDA deal with a drug that might be tweaked for different individuals? Especially important for oncology for cancer. cancer. A lot of drugs uh, in the pipeline. What FDA, I think, needs to do I mean, is look at both the tests, the diagnostics, and the drugs together so you can identify who the drugs are going to work. That will change. That will revolutionize drug development. And will it lengthen the process in general? No. I mean, in some ways, we spent a lot of time when it came to HIV. We shortened the process. Well, so you brought in more people under the FDA, so you could shorten the process, right? You, you increase the number of people on the payroll. But for important drugs, drugs for serious and life-threatening diseases, I think the agency is very committed to getting those drugs out. Now, just briefly, last uh, 30 seconds, call it medical devices, this 510K, where it's kind of a loophole. You can get the thing on more quickly if there's already a similar device. Any changes there? Well, you shouldn't be able to get a rocket ship approved based on some similarity to a firecracker. So there needs to be changes. Okay. Uh, Margaret David Kessler, former chairman of the FDA, we're so glad to have you. Thank you, Dr. Kessler.